Hello children. Today we are going to explore that whether liquids conduct electricity or not. But before proceeding, we should be clear about one term and that is conductivity of different liquids. The ability of liquid to allow electric current to pass through it is called conductivity of different liquid. Okay? And we are going to check the conductivity of different sample of liquid with the help of an activity. Fine. So, the aim of the activity is to find out whether a particular liquid allow electric current to pass through it or not. Materials required electric current, plastic container and samples of liquid which you can see. So, the electric circuit that we will be using, I have shown you the diagram that is the circuit diagram of the electric circuit okay we are going to use a battery torch bulb connecting wire and sample so let us begin with the activity okay children so my first sample is lemon juice so i have taken a little amount of water in the plastic container and squeezed two lemon into it okay now before putting the free ends of the wire i will just Mix the mixture once again, okay? And then I will put my two free ends of the connecting wire into the liquid. Now before putting it, you have to uh, keep in mind two precautions. That is, while putting the free ends of the wire into the liquid, don't touch them inside the liquid and also don't keep the wire more than 3 cm apart, okay? So now let's put the Free ends, of, uh, free ends of the wire into the liquid that is the lemon juice and see what happens then after putting it in each sample we have to just wipe off the free ends of the wire okay So our next sample is vinegar, okay? And let us see what happened when I put the free ends of the wire into vinegar. Now we have salt solution with us. Let me mix the salt solution before putting the free ends of wire into it. Now let us put the free ends of the wire into salt solution. Next is the detergent solution. Now let's see what happens in this. Our next sample is sugar solution. Let's see what happens now. So children, after observing the video, after watching the video, we will now fill our observation table. Okay. So we saw in the uh, video that in case of lemon juice, the bulb was glowing. In case of vinegar, the bulb did not glow. In case of detergent solution, the bulb was glowing. In salt solution, the bulb was glowing. But in sugar solution, the bulb did not glow. Okay. So, let us proceed further. So children, now let us analyze the observation. What does the glowing bulb signify? The glowing bulb signify that circuit got completed, isn't it? The circuit got completed, then only the bulb will glow or not? Then the next question arises, that how does the circuit got complete? It got complete because current was flowing through the liquid. The liquid allowed electric current to pass through it. Certain liquid allowed electric current to pass through it. What can you conclude from this? We can conclude that the glowing bulb signifies that circuit got completed as some liquid like lemon juice, detergent solution, salt solution allow electric current to pass through them. Okay? Therefore, we consider the case in which the bulb was glowing, the liquid sample allowed electric current to pass through it. Therefore, 
those cases in which the bulb was glowing are considered those samples are considered as good conductors of electricity okay now let us uh, go back to the observation table and try to categorize a liquid sample children lemon juice and vinegar can be categorized as acidic in nature isn't it we have studied in class 7 that lemon juice contain citric acid vinegar contain acetic acid whereas detergent solution is basic in nature and salt solution is neutral salt in nature okay so what do we uh, see uh, okay after categorizing what do we observe we observe that liquids which are solution of acid base and salt conduct electricity okay all the cases in which a bulb was glowing those liquid were actually solution of acid base or salt okay and which conduct electricity are called good conductors and liquid which do not allow electric current to pass through them are called non conductors okay now children after uh, discussing this much a question must have popped up into your mind that although vinegar is an acid but still bulb did not glow in its case so how do we say that acid that solution of acid can uh, conduct electricity in case of vinegar the bulb was not glowing okay let's see actually what is happening here what is the reason behind it for it we will understand that why bulb actually glows yes children if we uh, take the case of lemon juice what actually happened lemon juice allowed electric current to pass through it okay and the electric current was flowing throughout the circuit now as electric current reached the torch bulb it heated the filament which is made up of tungsten the filament of the bulb to high temperature okay and it heated the filament to such extent that filament started glowing okay and hence the bulb was glowing therefore we can say that the strength of the current in case of lemon juice detergent solution salt solution the strength of current was so much that it was able to heat up the filament and light it up okay but actually what happened in vinegar it was allowing electric current to pass through it but but not to that much extent okay in vinegar it is not allowing electric current pass through it to much extent due to which the overall current in the whole circuit is weak and the current is so much weak that it is not able to heat up the filament of of the bulb and therefore the bulb did not glow okay i hope it is clear to you and all and uh, everything that we have discussed till now uh, right now it come under the heating effect of current okay so you can uh, read it whatever i have discussed i have uh, written it on the slide okay but in case of vinegar although current was flowing through it okay vinegar is allowing electric current to pass through it but not to much extent but that current was not enough to heat the filament and light the bulb therefore the current was weak 